Okay, it's now Monday. I've been to the car boots. Um, Sunday waffle was on last night. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Great fun as always. So the video is done. I've edited it and I'm just putting this intro in now. Let's get into it. Oh, okay. Oh, God. How much is it? A pound. Yeah, it's going to annoy the life out of her, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. Oh, no, you didn't want that, do you? There you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. How much is the bag? Yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. There you go, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Oh, Oops, sorry, my apologies. Let me give you, give you a dry one. Thank you. Whoa. I'm still trying to find a minute where the top is for that. Oh, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. I think I'll take that in Do you have any gents clothes coming out at all? Uh, no. no. That's okay. Only That's alright, bless you. You carry on, I'll have a pot. I'll do a second lap. Oh, is it? Ron John's. How much is the towel? Oh, 50p. What's this one, Sam? Is that a virgin? A virgin, someone. How much for them both? Pound? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Do you have any gents' clothes coming out at all? No, the only thing we've got is no. a leather coat. Alright, oh, lovely. So Thank you very much. Thank you. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. How much is that? Yeah, that'll be handy actually. Message to yourself. Sorry? Message to yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, reminders. One, bear me a second. Gosh. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Take care. What have you got today? Just lob it out the van because you don't care. Oh, uh, those are three pits. Thank you. Would two take them? Yeah, would. Yeah, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Mm. Okay, bud. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, 
<laughs> Whose is this stool? How much is this little cassette thing? Hey. How much is that little cassette what thing? That? Uh camp. Yeah mate. All Cheers right. dude. <laughs> How much is the jacket? Uh, yeah, I think I have to, please. Oh, it's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I've been trying to tone myself down a bit. And it oh, no, you can't tone yourself out. down. No, you can't tone <laughs> down. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, we'll do. Take care. Yeah, I've had a bit Thank more. You. Yeah, that's all right. Bit manic. Bit manic, bit manic. Oh god, what's happening here? Are you giving it away? <laughs> Before I go dive in, is that somebody's bag down there? Yes, yeah, my bag. Oh, mate, no worries, dude. I've made that mistake. <laughs> I've had people in mine and I've been in other people's. Cheers, mate. Mm. Oh. Appreciate it, mate. In that little, in, in the little paper bit. Appreciate it, mate. Have a good one. I'm gonna check out Alton. See what's happening there. Nice. Yeah. How much are your records? Two pounds each. Thank you. I'll take these ones, mate. Okay. Pop it there for a second so I can. How much is he? Four pounds. It's an original, but it doesn't talk. Right? No, it doesn't work anymore, does it? Well, it's meant to, when you take his hat off, there's a sensor on there. So I think it needs a battery. Would you take any less for him? No, sorry. Oh, I think I'll buy him, thank you a lot. Oh, this is that. Don't lose that. Oh, I'll be that's in trouble. The main bit. Um, yeah, cool. Thank you very much. I've only got a 10, is that all right? Is that okay, going to be a problem? Yeah. I'm really sorry, lovely. Let me just check, make sure. Yeah, no, I've only got that, sorry. There's that one. Thank you, lovely. I appreciate that. Take care. Bye okay. bye. Just take this too, mate, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, mate. you sure? Yeah. Oh, bless you. Look, see what you've got as well. Yeah, nice Lovely stuff, mate. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, How much is that one, please? 50p. Thank you, lovely. Not very inventive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, should have got change. Yeah, just a bag. 
There's a pound, I'm afraid. Sorry. It's better than what I was going to give you, that's for sure. <laughs> I saw that lot coming. Yeah, bless you. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You. I always try Thanks not to. Much. That's what well, it goes on the table, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See. Obviously, I've never seen one before in my life. No. Has he got a spine on the back? A spine? Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously, there's not massive profit in there. However, well. however, I'm still tempted. <laughs> Just because it's something cool to have on the shop. Yeah. Have a look at it. Wow. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you, man? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got room. I would have kept it, but I haven't got room for it. See, no offence to you guys. I don't normally buy things. I, I like chatting to you, I like looking yeah. at your store. Obviously, you're doing, you, you do what I do. You're trying yeah. to get money, aren't you? Well, I buy, I, I collect myself. So. Yeah, of course you do, man. See, I'd have no idea if anything's broken or not. Nothing's no. broken on it, man. Tempted. Am I tempted? Yes, I am tempted. <laughs> All the figures as well. She's a bit scratched up on the face. She's got a hard time, isn't she? Yeah, she's really good condition. Well, I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a little, little bit of footage of that, and I. That is cool, man. There is room in there for you as well, so. I don't know. <sighs> So all this time I've spent chatting to you, I want to actually buy something else. I want to buy something properly off here instead of a phone. <laughs> Still haven't sold that yet. No. It looks like it, obviously it goes, you know it goes for good money, well it can do. Mm. Um, I just got it out of the I've box. bought three replacement batteries for it so far. Yeah. There's nothing to do with you. Yeah, five, yeah. five is fucking bargain price. Um, the first one came was knackered. The second one is brand new and sealed, so I've put that with it. So the battery wasn't... Uh... I haven't even reset anything yet. Sorry about that, man. I just got what it out <laughs> in five pound, I don't care if I open it up and the battery was burst and had a cracked screen on it. Um, I don't know what she had on that, like two quid, I think. So it's not mine, so <laughs> I got a lift. <laughs> I got a lift from the missus. Those are their photo frames. Dressing gown, two pound, I was right. <laughs> Have you got a price list for her? Yeah, for her, uh, yeah, for her uh, bit. Have you got any room for movement on it? Because I am tempted to just... I really wanted a hundred for it. Yeah. That's the thing, I don't want to disrespect her either. I mean, 90 would be my lowest. Because you're getting all the figures of it. Yeah, so. no, I get that. I do get... <laughs> I'm sure it's a very fair price. Obviously, when you look at things on eBay, you have a quick look and you see, yeah. didn't you? But... Excuse me, I'll Oh, yeah. You got one? Thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> I just think it looks awesome, doesn't it? Whack him in there as well. Would 80 take it off you? 85. I'll pay 85. 85. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, mate. Okay, let me you get you some cash. You can even have the fun against DVD's phone in a minute. <laughs> nah, you're alright, mate. Honestly, I, I, pre I, I appreciate it, man. Actually, actually, I might. Yeah, I will bundle it with the stuff. 20, 40, 60, 80. This is where I go home and find out that you've put all those listings on eBay and put the prices up. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, I appreciate man. it. I'm, I'm, happy, I'm, I'm glad to have bought some off you proper, properly. Cheers, mate. Appreciate what, it. What I'll do. It. I believe that'll pop out there. Yeah, they both pop that'll out. That'll pop All out the there. Are there so they're not snapped up or anything. Yeah. Without being... I'll pick this up for you as well. It's got, it's got the hat with it. It's 1998 <laughs> one. But I've never seen one that actually... Um, you pull the hat off and it's hawks. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's been one of them days still. Like, this, is my third, this is my third car boot now. And... Um, I haven't bought anything, so... Even if I just buy that, no, cheers mate, I appreciate that. No, 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 Even if I just buy that, I'll be happy. Um, right, give them. 
So next <laughs> time I, I'll have a look at your video. Yeah, you'll see what it goes for. If it goes for a million pound, I'll cut you in. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. You, see, I, I do spend some money. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. Buzzing. How much is the clothing, please? Oh, they're all different. Oh, okay. What about this t shirt? No worries, lovely. This one? Thank you, lovely. Let's see what else you've got going on. There's your hanger. Oh, I'm sorry, I stabbed you in the hand with it. <laughs> Don't worry about the change, it's a lovely price. Thank you, I appreciate Thank you. that. Thanks. How much are these, mate? Two quid. No worries, batteries and food is. It's just battery powered, is yeah. it? Yeah, cheers, mate. So as you can see by the videos, car boot season is definitely drawing to a close. Most of my car boot sales have a lot more cars than that. I'm going to say there was a, probably a third of the rows in every car boot that there normally is. So there's still some pickings, but it's very, very slim. I had to change tactics today. I've got this thing where, like most of us, I like to buy as low, 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 like buy really low priced items, like underpriced items, and then flip my money that way. But you can't always work like that, especially when the pickings are slim. So today I had to spend up on a few items. Uh, one in particular, I'm not worried about it though, I know my money's safe. So yeah, that's just the way it is sometimes. We need to, as resellers, we need to start thinking about other avenues of sourcing now. Charity shops, of course, um, you can't, we can't rely on those. Car boots are coming to an end. There is some that run all year round, but we need to find them travel to them um, which well mine in particular is quite far but i will have to attend that eventually so i am going to try and find some auctions auctions have changed as well there is no viewing in most of them you have to view online via a catalog place your bids online blindly to a degree book a slot to go and collect it um yeah so i've got to look at a few different things facebook marketplace has always been good to me so i'll continue using that in fact i may have a pickup today that i need to go and get but I, uh, I got home too soon to do that. So let's get into the video. Let me take you around and show you what I got. I'll tell you what I paid for it, if I can remember, and what I expect possibly for it to go for. Now, the figures I give you are not always exact. I may put them high, which in fact, I always put my prices high. And I expect to lower them. So let's have a little look and see what we got, shall we? So although today was slim, we still managed to get a nice amount of stuff. So let's start off with start off with the towel this is a ron john surf shop towel it's the gone tiki wild version these can command very 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 good money stupid money in fact especially for a towel but if you're part of the scene and you understand then you'll know um it is just a towel it's ron john surf shop it's vintage i paid i think it was a pound i think it was a pound with another towel um i'll show you what the there's no completed listings but there is some people asking for sales and i'll show you what they are up for now picked up this machino perfumes bag and um, it does have a couple of the brooches left on it which is quite good there's a few marks here and there but nothing's nothing major uh this was a pound i'm probably going to get 12 to 15 pound back on that i could possibly take the brooches off and sell it that way um and just sell the bag separate and sell these separate but i think i'm going to put it up for 12 to 15 and get rid of it a World Industries t-shirt, absolutely bargain, absolute steal. I'm so happy with this. Um, the lady wanted 75 pence for it. Of course, I give her a pound to keep a change because it's a fantastic deal. This is a 90s World Industries t-shirt. It's Flame Boy. This is the Heavy Metal se um, series. It is 90s. It's medium, so it's not my size. So it will be for sale, thankfully. Uh, I had a look online at these on i know what they go for anyway but i think this one could go between anywhere between 30 to 45 pounds but i'll have a good look at it check it out and make sure 
Next, we have this really nice Marcel Claire vintage sort of 80s, maybe early 90s jacket. It's a rain jacket, Mac. It has got the hood that packs into it. Uh, this owes me a pound. I'm not gonna let it go for any less than 22, 23. I'll, put, I'll start with 24.99 free postage. I do need to clean it. It is a size small, but because of the era, it fits me. And I've got no issue wearing vintage women's clothing like this because it looks cool and I don't care. But yeah, probably gonna go 24.99 on that. Not bad for a pound. This is the other towel that I brought with the Ron Johns one. This is a Virgin Sun. I've kept it in the packet because it is pretty much dead stock condition. It's never been used. Um, I've no idea what the prices are for that. Haven't found one, but I'll probably put it out for $19.99 and accept offers. Then we've got some Total 90s. These are from 2002, so they're almost vintage. These were... Okay, start that again. We have some Total 90s, these are from 2002. These were three pounds, but I got them for two pounds. They was in pretty good condition when I bought them, but I didn't notice that, so that's my problem. It was definitely like that when I bought them, and I didn't do it, so that's my issue. But two pounds, I don't know anymore. I'll have a little look around and see what they go for. Maybe 19.99 in that condition. They could have been a heck of a lot more, but that's just what happens, isn't it, if you don't look properly. Yeah, never mind. Ho from the Teletubbies, if you press his belly, no, squeeze his hand. Ah. Yeah, another annoying sound thing. I'm not too sure where this one's from. It's a later one, 2016. But I paid a pound for that. I've no idea what it's worth. Probably 9.99. You know, without research, I don't know. So I could be right, I could be wrong. Don't be screaming at me, please. Then we have this really weird thing. I paid up for this. I don't know why I did it. It's a house clearance guy. So he doesn't know what he's got, when he's got it, or why he's got it. But it's a cassette. And I noticed that you put memory cards in it, and it plays. And I thought you probably just put it into a car or something, and it played the memory card. But you actually charge it, and put your headphones in it, and it plays. So I'm going to get that. Oh, it's not focusing. So I'm going to get that charged up, get that tested out, and get it playing and see what it does. But for a pound, I wanted to see what it was. Right, next up we have this Versace glasses case, another issue of mine, it is quite damaged, paid 50p for it, it's very very cool, so I'm probably going to keep that for myself for my own sunglasses. Got some vintage soap, this is the special number 127 by Flores, or Flores I think, paid 50p for that, it is still in there, it is still good, let's probably get about 7 99 back on that. We've got a Teak VR10. Now, I've had a look online. I can only find the VR20s, which are selling for really good money and commanding good money. But I paid £2 for this, I believe. I'm not too sure. I'm definitely going to get anywhere between 20 to 25 But if it's anywhere near like the ones that people are asking for, because it has got the um, memory card included, which means you obviously you can change it for a bigger one. But if it's asking, if it commands anywhere near what the VR20 is, I'm looking at some really good money, but I'll look back on that, but my £2 definitely safe. Some EI electronic smoke alarms. These do have the escape light with them. These are brand new and sealed. Paid £2 for these. I'm going to command £19.99 for those, and I'm pretty confident I'll get that on those. Beyblades Burst. This is the Super Grip Launcher. Paid 50p for this. Uh, people are getting 20 quid back on these. It, I have had a quick look at it. It hasn't been used before. It does have a sellotape on the bottom, but that could be from the factory. Um, but either way, the contents inside are unused. So 50p, 19.99. But I'm probably going to go for 17.99 because of the condition of the box. But not bad. 50p. I bought these two. Uh, these cost me 50p. I only bought them because that was a sealed. 2017 2018 packet and these are quite cool these are the del prado figures they're like lead figures they are quite collectible i paid 50p for the pair so it's 25 pence each this is a warrant officer for the africa corps it's probably worth about seven quid if that 1998 woody um you don't pull the string on the back of this one i've, had, I've tested it with batteries i can't get it to work but i think my batteries are dead um you take the hat off and it has a sensor on his head and he talks you that way yeah, this is a 1998 version. Not too sure what it's worth. Don't know. Um, it's quite dirty as well. He needs a good face wash, bit of clearer cell, sort him out. Then we have these, um, I can't remember the name of them now, Fobel. Fobel Scandinavian. These are crystal glass door cabinets, like, for, like doorknobs basically. Somebody has got £35 for six of these. I have 12 with the retail box so 
I'm obviously going to be trying to command a little bit more than that. I'm probably going to put all 12 up. In fact, I think you only get 10 in the box. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You get 10 in the box. I think what I'm going to do is clean them all up and sell. No, I will. I'll sell the 12 and say have two free. I'll sell them like that. I'm probably going to go for 79.99 and accept offers. People, what people do with these is they get really nice cabinets, like 50s and 60s cabinets. Somebody may have already replaced the handles or they want to replace them themselves. And these are just perfect for that. You can really bring a, you know, a cabinet that needs a little bit of life, bring it back into it or a little bit of originality. This will really work for them. Or you can add these to modern stuff. It all depends to your fancy, but I paid £5. I'm going to command £79.99 and accept offers. Uh, PSP, pick this up, paid four pound for it uh it doesn't have any charger with it. it doesn't have anything else it was the first pickup of the day i said to the lady um can you tell me what oh, I just swollen battery can you tell me what the issues are she looked quite offended but what i actually meant was do you know if there's any issues like i didn't i didn't i didn't word it very well so i apologize to her and we i bought it four pounds now of course i've been saving the best till last I think I'm going to set the camera around for this and uh, do it that way. When I say I'm going to set the camera around, what I mean is I'm going to find a seat and sit on it. So, this is Mama Ra's tomb. It is from the 80s, I believe 86 this set. Let me just double check. 85. Um... Yeah, it's quite a sought after piece just for the tomb alone. It comes off in three pieces. So you've got this dude at the end, this dude here, and this section here. Um, I am not a massive collector or, or like a fanboy of all this sort of stuff. I am a reseller. And I do think it's cool. I remember these when I was a kid. Not this set. I mean, I was born in 87. But I still remember seeing these floating around in my early childhood. In fact, I believe I had Tigra. But... I'm not massively knowledged on these. I just know money when I see it. And that is what I'm here for. I'm a reseller. So I buy things to sell and I happen to own cool things along the way. And I do have a good circle of friends and network that can help me out with these anyway. So the car boots are pretty dry. And I saw the chaps, well, the chap that I brought the old Nokia off. It's a really, really nice guy. He knows what I do. And I believe he watches my videos. In fact, I need to get his name because I need to name him because... I don't want to keep calling him chap because he's a, he's, an, he's genuinely a nice guy. So, mate, if you watch this, drop me a comment. Let me know Let me know who you are, your, your name. So, so, he knows what I do, basically. And he wanted £100 for the lot. Now, I made it very clear that I don't really know much about them. Obviously, he showed me the eBay listings. I had a look. We both had a look together. That's the kind of business I like to do. When somebody knows what you do, they know what you're going to do. And we're going to sort it out that way. But um, yeah, it wanted £100. I had a look online. It was a bit of a risk in the sense of my knowledge is poor. But looking online, the um, the completeds are quite good. So I went for it. I paid £85. He did me a nice deal. He did knock 15 quid off and threw me in a Thundercats DVD. So yeah, I paid £85 for this. I'll put up some completed listings around here somewhere and show you what people are getting for each thing. Now, the ones that I've seen selling for between 190 and 290 and sometimes 350 have barely had any of these figures. In fact, I think they had Mama Ra and that was it. But Mama Ra did have a staff. Don't have that, sadly. I can probably find it online or I'm not too fussed about it. I have a lot of characters. So... I don't know where to go with this. So I'm going to clean it up. Some of the hinges on the side here, they are intact, but they're definitely coming away slightly. There's like little L clips that you go comes in and slots down to hold these two sides on. But people expect that kind of thing now. There's, I mean, it's not exactly, you know, it's not a massive flaw. So I'm very happy with this purchase. It has, like I say, it has, did cost me a spinning round. Oh, see ya. It did cost me eighty-five pounds. I'm not too worried about my money. Let's get my morale out, actually. Quite cool. I can't remember this dude's name. But this is this is why I love doing all this, because I get to I get to hold and temporarily own some pretty cool stuff for a while. And it does bring back some memories. What am I gonna get for this? I think I'm gonna get this cleaned up, photographed, and listed today. I'm gonna do a starting bid of 200 pounds. So I've doubled my money straight away. 
and then go from there. If it doesn't sell on that listing, I will look at changing things up and do a buy it now for a while. If that doesn't sell, I'll look at changing things up even more. Probably take out some of the figures. And I mean, Mama Ra gets $29.99 alone. I'm not sure if that's with the staff or not. I imagine it is. I will change things around. I don't need to sell this quickly. I don't need my money back that quick. And I'm happy to play around and try to extract maximum value out of my out of my item. So I'm very happy with that. It's a very cool piece. I want to show you around a little bit more. I mean, some of the figures do have signs of wear, of course. This one in particular looks like um, Mammut has, I don't have Mammut by the way, has um, chewed her face off. But yeah, some very cool characters. And I'm going to sell the whole lot as a job lot first and do it that way. Like I say, if it doesn't work, I'll switch things up. I'll reevaluate. I'll try changing things about, selling things differently, and go from there. So, yeah, very, very cool. Nice little pickup. I'm happy. And, dude, like I say, I can't remember your name. I want to say, no, I'm not going to try and guess. But, yeah, thank you ever so much, Matt. I really do appreciate it. And, um, yeah. Well, I was just loading the car to go home and found these. I forgot I bought these as well. So, we've got... I've never heard of him. Gillen, Future Shop. Crocus, Headhunter. Asia. Judas Priest, obviously I've heard of those. And another one. Paid £2 each. I'm not too sure what I'm going to get back. Had a quick look on here and I believe I can get £13 to £18 just for the Judas Priest one. So my money is safe. But there, no matter what, I always pick up vinyl. I've got a term. I think the artwork on, especially the older vinyl, is awesome. I mean, just look at that. They've just got some bird pouting or some dude giving it the middle finger on the album cover. It's boring. So cool. But yeah, these were £2 each. I mean, look at that one. These are £2 each. They will go with the rest of my vinyl that I have here that I haven't listed. And they will just sit in there probably for the next six months like the rest of them. Now I do like to try and film videos, edit them and get them out on the same day. But if not, you'll probably see this Monday. But if you do see it tonight, quick reminder for you to head over to James Collect's channel tonight. Nine o'clock was going to be me, James, John, Luke and Kieran talking about all things car boot, all things resellers. Show and tell some things that I picked up today. Finally, I have some good bits to show. So um, yeah, make sure you head over there. The chat always gets involved. We're always quite interactive. John Luke definitely takes command of the chat. He's very, very good at that. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun one tonight. I know that all of us have managed to get out to car boots today. And I believe all of us have picked up some stuff. So, and it's a full team tonight. Kieran's back. So, it's going to be a good one this evening. Make sure you pop over there. As you can tell from that video, I have tried to... My gosh, this light makes my hair look grey. I mean, the grey hairs make my hair look grey, but my gosh. Um... As you can see, I've tried to keep as still as I can through this video. I've had some feedback from some viewers, and feedback's always welcome. Telling me that my style of walking and talking gives them um, seasickness kind of vibes. And I can see why, and I do apologise. Walking and talking helps me to keep my mind free as I'm talking and bring things from the, from the back of my mind to the forefront and enabled me to actually communicate them. Because I do struggle with my words, as you can tell sometimes. I have a little bit of a stammer or a blurb or I get my words back to front but I'm learning as I go along and um, being in front of a camera even though I'm on my own it is quite um, difficult you won't imagine the amount of takes that we use up to actually get a piece and this piece I think I'm on my 11th 12th time doing this because I keep messing about with things and getting my words wrong and yeah but it is what it is I do appreciate every single one of you that are here I know there are a lot more of a resellers out there that are um top notch and i'm very proud to be able to call some of them friends so i appreciate the fact that you've given your time to me and my channel and i'm doing the seasickness thing again walking around but anyway i appreciate every single one of you for being here um you know what i ask you to do by now i'm gonna stop asking um and if you decide you want to do that or it warrants it it's entirely up to you so thank you ever so much for joining me once again i do appreciate every single one of you please remember james collects channel tonight at nine o'clock we will see you there thank you ever so much and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye, bye. <laughs>